get up, Captain. We've done a lot, haven't we, JC? Yes, we have. Now only this big one is left. What do you want to do with it? Um, let me think. Hey, how about we take these colorful squares of paper and cover the entire wall with them? That'll look nice. Yes, it will. And I'm sure nobody else will think of the idea. Let's do it. Finally done. Now all we need to do is wait for the counselor to come and inspect our cabin. I hope he likes it. I'm sure he will. It's so colorful. Well, hello there. JC and Drew. Let's see what you've done with your cabin. Hello, counselor. My word! It looks great. And look at this wall. So colorful. It looks lovely. Hey, you have covered the entire wall with these colorful squares. That's a great idea. Thanks, counselor. So, tell me, how many squares did you use to cover this wall up completely? Uh, we used 40 squares. Hmm. 40 squares have completely covered the space on this wall. This means that the area of this wall is 40 squares. Area? Yes. Area is the total amount of space enclosed within the boundary of a shape. Hmm. Look here. This piece of paper has the shape of a rectangle. The colored part inside the boundary is the area of this rectangle. Wait. Let me show you another example. I am drawing this number 8. Let me shade the space inside its boundary. This is its area. Did you understand? Yes, we did. But counselor, why would we need to know the area of anything? For lots of reasons, too. Suppose... We want to cover the cabin wall with wallpaper. If we know the area of the wall, then we can know exactly how much wallpaper we need. Oh, I get it. And say, we wanted to cover the entire floor of this room with a carpet. We'll need to know the area of the floor. Exactly. Knowing the area is important, whether you're building a house, planning a garden, decorating a wall, or even putting floor tiles. Great! So how do you find out the area of a shape? By counting the number of squares that can cover it. That's exactly what you do, JC. Come on, let's calculate the area of something. How about this postcard? Okay, but wait, let me draw a grid first. There. Each square on this grid has a side of one centimeter. Now, let's put the postcard on the grid and trace its outline. So, we can find out how much area it covers. Here's the outline. Now, can you count the total number of squares inside the outline of the postcard? One, two, three, four. This will take ages to count. <laughs> okay, just let me know when you are done. Finally done. Seventy-two squares. Seventy-two, huh? This postcard completely covers up 72 of these squares. Can you tell me what this means? That the area of this postcard is 72 squares. Yes. 
But you're forgetting one thing. Remember, I had told you earlier that each square on this grid has a side of one centimeter. It is a standard unit to measure length. Yes, you did. So? Now listen carefully. The area of a square of side one centimeter is one square centimeter. And because 72 such squares can cover this postcard, we say that the area of the postcard is 72 square centimeters. We can also write square centimeter in short as centimeter square or square centimeter. Oh, so wait, if I place this chocolate bar on the grid and suppose it covered 50 squares, the area of this chocolate bar will be 50 square centimeters. Am I right? <laughs> yes, you are, Whiskey. Can we do this with centimeters only? What about the other units of length? Of course you can measure area using other standard units. If I had to measure the area of something bigger, um, like the floor of this cabin, I would draw a grid which has squares each of side one meter long. Cool! The area of a square of side one meter is one square meter. This was great, Counselor. Thanks for telling us about area. No problem, kids. Now let's go out. All the kids are meeting to go for a nature walk. Nature walk? Yes. We will go for a walk in the woods and then have a picnic by the river. Hey, that sounds like a lot of fun. It will be, JC. Now hurry up. See you kids outside. That was fun, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Look, I have collected some beautiful leaves here. Oh, let me have a look. Hey there. What have you boys discovered? Counselor, I have collected some leaves. Can I find the area of these leaves too? Of course you can. Just trace it on a grid like I showed you earlier today. But it won't cover the squares completely. I know it won't. But we can find out its approximate area. Here's the grid having squares of one centimeter side. Let's trace this leaf on it. Now, look here. First, count all the complete squares covered by the picture. There are six full squares. Now, count the number of half or more than half squares within the boundary of the leaf. Um, one, two, three, four, Great. Ignore the rest of the squares. We will consider the half or more than half squares also as one full square. Now, adding six and four will give you the approximate area of the leaf. So the approximate area of this leaf is 10 square centimeters. Exactly. Hey, counselor. Can I find the area of this coin too? Of course. You can find the approximate area of any irregular surface. Trace the outline of the coin on the one centimeter grid and count the squares like I just showed you. Cool. There you go. Now let's count the squares. Two full squares are covered. And two squares which are half or more than half are within the boundary of the coin. So the approximate area of the coin is four square centimeters. Very good. You have got it now. Um, 
get going now. The picnic is about to start. And guess what? I will announce who won the best cabin competition there. <laughs> Seriously? I hope it's us. Come on, Dhruv. Let's race to the picnic. Yeah, I'm hungry. Ready, set, go. So guess what happened? Dhruv and I won the prize for the best decorated cabin. A huge cup with our names written on it. Summer camp's over now. I have to go and say bye to my friends. But wait, before I go, let me tell you what I learnt about area. Area is the total amount of space enclosed within the boundary of a shape. You can calculate.